Hello guys, welcome to another video. This one is a requested question. It is a paper two from O level. Uh, let's try to do that and see what can we uh, derive, right? So three integers a, b, and c are such that a is less than b, and b is less than c. Okay, so the three integers are said to form a Pythagorean triple if c square equals to a square plus b square, or this one, right? That is just the context. And this is an example given to you. Let's say we have numbers 3, 5, 3, 4, 5. We can say 5 square minus 4 square is equal to this, and this is equal to 3 square. So same concept here. I applied the example. You will get this, right? Now, uh, for part 1, in the uh, same way, show that 7, 24, and 25 form a Pythagorean triple. So same way, you will take the biggest numbers, you will take 25 square minus 24 square is equal to 25 minus 24 times 25 plus 24. That is equal to 1 times 49. And 49 is equal to 7 square. So this is shown as required. That is for part 1. Now uh, for part B, form a Pythagorean triple in part 1 in which the last two integers are 40 and 41. Now, we just have to do reverse to see what happened, right? So, as you can see, it is 41 square minus 40 square. Now will be 41 minus 40 times 41 plus 40 equal to 1 times 81 and 81 is 9 square so that is your Pythagorean triple for the first part now for part so your answer is actually 9 because you have to write the numbers so that will be 9 right the triple now part 2 in which the first integer is 11 okay so the first integer is 11 so we have to go backwards now so you will start from this one is 11 square it is equal to 121 121 is 1 times 121 it is equal to something minus something equal to 1 and then something plus something equal to 121 so it's pretty easy to find we have to uh, observe this logic here so how would you find these two numbers right so let's say here we have 81. How would you find the two numbers that form 81? So what you can do here is use a very simple logic is you take 81, you plus 1 to it, and divide by 2. You will find one of the numbers, or you will find the bigger number. So you get 82, divide by 2, that will be 41. 41 is the larger number, so the other one will be 41 minus 1, should be 40. So same concept, you can try 121 plus 1, divide by 2. That will be 61. 61 will be the larger number minus 60. 61 plus 60. So that will give you 61 square minus 60 square. So, that, so the two numbers that we need will be 61 and 60. That will be your answer for part 2. Now for part 3, part C, we have to simplify this. So let's try. We have to expand. You will have um, n square plus 2n plus 1 minus n square. That will be 2n plus 1. Okay. Now we have to use that hence, mean using part 1, form a Pythagorean triple in which the first integer is this. So let's try that. So what can we see uh, here? What can we do with that? Let's see what is the obvious thing to do. So from what I can see, what he did was, this is basically equal to what? Equal to this function right here, which is n plus, so n was this one, sorry, n plus 1, square, square will be. So that was, so for example, if you take a, if, if you take an example here, for example, let's take a few numbers. Let's take these three numbers, right? We have, uh, let me write this down here. I have, for example, I have um, 11, 60, and 61. 
So what is this number? n plus 1 square. That you would say that will be 60 plus 1 square minus 60 square. This is what it is, right? That should give you 11 square. Right. Now uh, let's see. This should be the first integer. So let's see. That should be. So that should be the. Oh, okay. That is the first integer. So it is. It is not even the square number. It's the first integer. So, so basically the answer will be 101 square is equal to n. n is, we don't know what is n for now. We have to solve this. So 2n plus 1 is equal to 101 square. So we have to solve for this n. So the main point, the main point, the main point of doing this was to, to understand if I do this, if I take three numbers which I know is a Pythagorean triple, which number will be n, which will be the answer? From what I can see, if I take these three numbers, the smallest one, the first integer, will be your answer square, and the other two will be forming part of this equation. But now we simplify this equation already to this very simple equation, which means that this side will be your equation, and the other side will be your first integer square. So same way. This is your first integer square will be on one side, and this will be your equation. Now, next step is to solve this value for this value of n. So 2n will be 100, so n will be 50. So the so the three numbers that we need to show it is is uh, 101. Sorry, oh my bad. I have to actually uh, simplify this. This is not the right answer. So 101 square minus 1 divide by 2 that should be this is not good actually so n should be 5100 0, 0. and this one should be 101 square minus 1 10 200 okay so your n will be this so your Pythagorean triple should be and let me find some space so n will be 5100 0, 0 n plus 1 will be 5101 1, and then the first integer will be 101 that is the triple that we need to write now for part d it is also possible to form a Pythagorean triples in which the last two numbers the last two integers differ by 2 okay that is a new concept because the first one you have seen the last two numbers differ by 1 here it can differ by 2 for example we have 8 15 17 because of this example right so same way we can try to copy and complete the following statement so we have this 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 is the last two differs by two this will be equal to uh, that should be two this should be so plus this one is 37 plus 35 that should be 72 right so that should give you Okay, so I think we, okay, I guess the space has missed here, so let's write this down. I think here we should write this one, which is 37 minus 35, and then 37 plus 35. Now we have to simplify this. 2 times 72, that should give you 144, which is 12 square. That is your first, first line. You have to write this down here for 12. Now, same thing, your answer will be 16 square. It is 2 times something. What is 16 square? 256. So, 2 times something equal to this, so that will be divided by 2, that should be 128. Now, on one side you will have 2. So, we have to simplify and find out what numbers they are. So, 256. So, we ha here we can have two equations which is um, this one. So basically we have, on one side we have, let's call the first number is n, n minus n plus 2 times n minus, so plus n plus 2 is equal to 2 times 128, right? So if you observe, this one is simply 2, and this one will be this. So we can have this equation here. So 2n plus 2 
is equal to 128. So 2n is equal to 126. So n has to be 126 divided by 2. That will be 63. So one of the numbers will be n, which is 63, the smallest one. And this one will be 65. So here you will have 65 square minus 63 square. And this has to be, um, so same steps, you have to write 65 minus 63. And 65 plus 63. Okay, that will be for part one. Now, uh, for part two, simplify this one, hence express it as a perfect square. So let's simplify. You have 16 and power 4 plus 8 and square plus 1 minus 16 and power 4 minus 8 and square plus 1. That will equal to 16 and power 4 plus 8 and square plus 1 minus 16 and power 4 plus 8 and square minus 1. Now simplify. These two will cancel out. These two will cancel out. So you will have 8 plus 8 will be 16 and square. Now express this as a perfect square. As you can see, we can just take out, apply square root, you will have this as a perfect square. That will be your answer for this one, which is 4n square as a perfect square. Now uh, for part 3, form a Pythagorean uh, triple in which the first integer is 400 and the other two it differs by by 2. Okay, So as you can see the first has to be 400 so we have to form an equation again. So pretty easy. So we have to follow the same formula. So the first integer has to be 400 which means at the end you will have 400 square. That needs to equal to what? So 400 square is given by this one. 1, 6, 1, 2, 1, 2. So we have four zeros, right? Now this is equal to 2 times something, divide by 2. 2 times 8,000. Right, and this is equal to first one is n. So we start with we don't know what number they are, so we start with n. So n we have to plus n plus two because they have a difference of two, and then the other one will be uh, n minus. So n so the bigger one will minus this one. Sorry, so that will be. Uh, so n plus 2 minus n, because the bigger one minus the smaller one, you'll have remaining 2. So 2 will be 2, and this one will be this one. So that will be 2n plus 2 is equal to 80,000. So n, 2n will be what? 7, 9, 9, 9, 8. So n will be this divided by 2. n is equal to 3, 9, 9, 9, 9. Okay, so that's it. So your, th your three numbers will be 400. Then you will have 3, 9, 9, 9, 9. And then plus, one, plus 2. That should be 4. So let's do that. Let's not make a mistake. Yeah, so 1, 2, 3, 1. Okay, so that will be the three numbers.